Hello lovelies, so I did a quick video on doing this camouflage. So I've done this pink camouflage for a Facebook group and the girls really loved it and asked me to do a video. So I'm gonna do that for you today. So again, on this video, just excuse my lovely thumb, my little baby broken, um, but we're gonna do this pink camouflage. So if you want to know this little stand um, that I've got, where I got it from, I'm gonna leave a link below. I got it from uh, Nail NVMK. The pink one isn't available anymore, I believe. Um, so I'm going to use my detail brush. I don't know where I got this brush from, bought it ages ago, and it's just in my stack of brushes. I'm gonna use a bit of kitchen towel, in pink, of course, because it's me. Um, I'm also gonna use backing paper, and for those of you who are new to nails, the backing paper is from um, the back of the forms. Didn't know that when I started, and I had to watch somebody's video to find out. So colors that we're going to use today is we are going to use classic. So these are all halo. Um, then we're also going to use dusky pink. We're also going to use rose. And then we will also <laughs> use misty gray and we will use black. And then I'm going to use two glitters um, for this design. I've got black magic and then I've got rose gold sparkle. Yes, man. Love these, love these. My absolute favorite gel polish. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put little blobs of each of the gel polish on the backing paper. So I'm gonna use little bits at a time to do the painting. I absolutely love this gel polish. It is so nice and creamy, you'll see in a sec. So those are the colors that we're going to use. Um, so all I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to paint my nail um, grey and I'm going to cure that ready for us to then use. But can you see how nice and smooth this is? That's one coat guys, one coat. It's ridiculous. I love it. It's so soft and creamy. Okay, so now we're going to get ready to do our painting. So I'm going to use the detailed brush and I tend to always use the dark colour first, darkest colour shall I say. Um, and I'm going to go in from the top. So all I'm going to do is do little bits and um, fill in as I go down the nail. So put the black in. Now remember, you don't need to have this in any set uh, shape. You just need to get it on there and drag it around a bit. I'm just gonna wipe the brush off and then go into the next. So I'm not cleaning the brush every time, guys. Otherwise, this will take forever and that's not happening okay so we're going to go in oh i had such a may with a focus on the camera it will come uh, well it will it will join us in a sec or 10 you know there there we go it started to join us right so i'm going to go in with a pink and come down so that's the darkest pink and just make sure that you overlap that it doesn't look like you're just filling in blanks um, and then I'm just going to go and swap and change between all the colors. I've sped this up a bit because otherwise you guys are going to sit here forever and watch me put little blocks of paint down. And you can get the gist of it with a speed anyway. Um, so it's just moving from one color to the next, taking into account what color I've used last. Um, and then obviously creating the spaces. So leave some of the gray there. We're going to fill it in again. Um, after we finish doing the whole nail. Um, I shall show you in a sec, but leave some gray spaces so it's another one of your colors that you'll use. So I shall let you watch me fill in the nail.
acetylene, so we're just going to cure that now. Oh, before we cure that, I forgot. I'm going to, so even though that gray is already there um, underneath all of this, I like to just put the gray in again with a brush. Because if we do that, it levels off the colors a bit, otherwise it becomes way too bumpy. Um, so I like to just add the gray in. And also if I find spots where it wasn't quite nicely mixed or touching each other, then I will just touch, do touch-ups. So there we go. Now we're going to cure this. Um, and then we will top coat it afterwards. But before we do that, we're going to add some glitter in. So this is after I've cured it guys, so I'm just adding in the rose gold sparkle on top of the classic pink colour. Um, so <laughs> if you know me, you'll know just how addicted I am to glitter, so nothing really passes my hands without glitter. Um, so that's the rose gold sparkle done, and then I'm just going to go in with black magic on top of the black. Um, when I do a client's nails and they don't want glitter, it's like it's like I've died inside. If I if I let you leave my nail room without glitter, then I just want to cry. <laughs> okay, so now that we've done that, I just want to show you guys on this. So when I say that it's not really level, I don't know if you can see properly on this, but you can see that it's kind of when it focuses, focus, focus. Thank you very much. Um, you can see it's kind of bumpy. So what you tend to have to do is do more than one top coat just to get it smoothed out. So I'm just doing the top coat and then I'm going to cure it and there it's done. So that's that design done. This is the other one that I did uh, that I posted on Facebook when everybody loved it so much. And you can see that one of the colors I've used was just different. So if you don't have the right pinks, um, just mix them in. So that's the color that's different. Um, just use the pink that you've got and mix some of it with black and some of it with grey um, and you can do any design then. So I'm going to show you a different one. So I did this one which is more pastel colour, a lighter colour. So um, yes. Backing paper again guys and I'm just going to pop some of the colours on there again so that we can use them. Um, I just wanted to show you that you can do it with a multitude of different colors and I know someone might not like the bright one so this is my French white so I'm using misty gray again French white and I'm going to mix those two in a bit then I'm using classic again and I'm using dusky pink so I'm going to use those colors but I'm going to mix the gray and the white together okay it's lovely lovely jubbly so I'm just going to mix those two together because I'm going to, instead of keeping the um, base white, I want to have it like an off grey colour, if that makes any sense. And then I'm just going to use Misty Grey just straight as well. Okay, so those are the four colours that I'm going to use. So you can use it with only a handful. Look at this white. Just look how amazing this white is. That's one coat, guys. I wasted so much time the other night using a different brand. I had to put three coats to get it that white never ever again and now all I'm going to do is go in again from the top like we did I'm taking the darker color so I'm using the gray um, as a black replacement and then I just work my way down so I sped this one up as well so I'll let you guys watch me work this one down and then I shall come back when I fill in the light gray that I mixed So I'm just going to go with a light grey and I'm going to go over the spots where I left the white and you'll see it just kind of brings it all together instead of that white being there. And you can also see by putting that light grey there it makes the nail more level, I don't know, smoother, less bumpy, I don't know if there's a term for it but you know what I mean right? I hope so anyway and then I'm just 
evening out wherever I need to. And then I'm gonna cure that and then I'm going to top coat it and there is our nail done. So I'm gonna do another one for you in purples and lilacs. It's the same process. So if you don't want to continue watching, you don't have to. So again, I'm using my Halo polish. Um, this time I'm using lilac and soft mauve. I think that's how you pronounce it, mauve. Um, so I'm gonna use those two. Uh, so again, backing paper, just pop it down. I'm gonna use the lilac and mix it with some white to get a lighter purple color. Um, so I'll use that lighter purple color where I did the light gray on the previous nail. So again, I use the gray from the top. You can see I kind of start the same way, but I can guarantee you throughout the nail, it changes. Not one of the nails are the same. Um, you just need to keep, keep in mind to leave some blank spots open for where we're gonna put that light lilac. So I'll let you watch this and then I shall jump in again when we're done. all the brighter colors if I can call them that done and now I'm just going to go in with that light purple that I mixed and again you'll see it just brings everything together when you do that <music> nail done so it's just a matter of top coating it again and it is all done I love how versatile this look as you can do it with just about any colors so thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon again in the next video if you enjoyed this video guys then please subscribe give a thumbs up let me know in the comments which is your favorite color um, and you're welcome to follow me on instagram love yours bye